Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading. Time is fluid, so whenever you view this reading is when you are meant to hear these messages. Okay, we're going to dive right in today. Okay, Aquarius, we're going to get the current energy in love. And then we're going to get the future energy as well as some advice from the Moonology deck. So let's dive right in here. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Um, if you talk to me, I do talk back, okay? Ooh, someone's really passionate here. Um, two more cards, please. Um, I also do personal readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information is down below in the description box, of course. For Aquarius in love. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Aquarius, you are about to meet someone that you are very attracted to. Okay. This person is going to be very attracted to you. This is a mutual energy here. We bottom of the deck. We got the two of cups. Okay. You could be dealing with a cancer. Um, however, this is a beautiful energy to have at the bottom of the deck to kick off your reading. Okay. I feel like somebody has their eye on you. Um, even if they don't have your, their eye on you, this is someone that you've already met or this is a newer connection here, but someone has a mutual attraction for you. You find them just as attractive as they find you, okay? Um, wow, this is, and then there's so much passion on the table. So Aquarius, as it stands, I feel like you are really in your own energy right now. You're looking really great, smelling great. You're on your money. Um, I feel like you're really in your power, kind of just strutting your shit. Uh, showing the world the real you here with this nine of pentacles. I feel like you're currently single, okay? And then someone's going to come in and really just knock you on, off your feet here. So we've got the king of wands, all right? The king of fire, yes, all right? There's a lot of... Ooh, this is a heavy sexual attraction here. We've got the king of fire, we've got the seven of fire, and we've got the three of fire okay so somebody has a sexual attraction for you it's very strong the roles could be reversed you could have a really um strong sexual attraction towards this other person however the two of cups is present so this is a mutual energy you guys are both feeling the same way about each other okay and i think currently both of you guys are single all right uh seven of wands determination to get the other person like you see it you want it and you have to have it is what i'm getting here a lot of passion a sense of wonder wanting to start something new here um and i feel like it's a very mature passionate energy okay you could be dealing with a leo aries virgo um heavy leo here and then i have cancer as well but let's clarify these energies, see if there's any blocks, what's going on here. Let's clarify this King of Fire for Aquarius, the current energies in love. Clarify the King of Fire, current energies in love for Aquarius. This is incredible. If I was doing a sexual energy reading, I would say sexual energy is on level mm, 8 of 10 here. Yeah, someone's watching you. So we've got the King of Fire. The King of Fire is watching you, friend. We've got clarified by the Page of Swords here, all right? Someone's got their eye on you for sure. They're seeing you. They're thinking you're looking really good, okay? Um, bottom of the deck. I don't usually look at the bottom of the deck right now, but I was just drawn to. So we have the Six of Cups, Scorpio Energy. This could be someone from your past. It doesn't have to be... Um, Take it how it resonates, but it could be someone returning, someone who's been watching you. Maybe you did some kind of glow up Aquarius and now this person's like coming in fast, wants you bad, all right? You're making this person drool. <laughs> could be uh, the other way around, but let's continue. Let's clarify this seven of wands here, seven of fire. Oop. Yeah, the fool. Look at this. This person's coming in fast all right this person this person's watching you they're waiting for the right time to make a leap here so yeah seven of fire clarified by the fool can you clarify the three of fire please three of wands for aquarius and love wow this is an insane energy um 
This is insane. Yeah, three of pentacles. So we've got two threes here. So three, three. Clarifying the three of wands, we have the three of earth here. This is someone who is developing feelings for you. Strong sexual attraction wants to work with you here. The nine of pentacles clarified by the ten of fire here, okay? So let's just take a look and see. Okay, so... The Ten of Fire, uh, clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Somebody doesn't want to be single anymore, okay? Could be you, could be the other person. Being single is great. You're in your power. But I think somebody here is ready for a connection, especially with this Two of Cups energy, if I can get it off the table. Especially with this Two of Cups energy, somebody's ready for a connection with you here. They don't want to be single anymore. They want to move towards you with the Fool. They're determined to win. Seven of Wands, clarified by the Fool. Three of Fire, uh, clarified by the Three of Earth, and then the King of Fire, clarified by the Knave of Air or the Page of Swords. So someone here is definitely watching you. Someone here is definitely seeing how attractive you're looking lately, Aquarius. Somebody wants to explore a connection with you. There's a lot of sexual attraction here. Um, but, you know, what's great about it is there's this Two of Cups energy. So there is potential... Um, for um, an emotional connection to develop here as well, okay? Um, I didn't realize you guys couldn't really see. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so there is potential for an emotional connection as well, all right? So I've got, it can be any sign, guys. Don't read too much into it. But again, I have Leo, Aries. Um, I've got Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Cancer, okay, is what's predominantly in the reading. So let's clear this energy and see what the future's looking like. Because somebody definitely wants to move towards you with the fool. They're definitely attracted to you. You're gonna, you're definitely attracted to them. Um, or when they come in, you're definitely going to be attracted to them. Okay. So let's take a look at this future energy and see what's going to go down here. See if there's any blocks. And then we'll pull some advice. Um, for Aquarius, what is the future outcome here? Ooh, the devil. Ha! <laughs> definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn um there's probably there's a carnal sexual desire here so I do sexual energy readings as well there's definitely a carnal sexual desire here could be a hint of obsession um yes yeah there's that six of cups again this could be somebody who comes back or it could be somebody who's just super sweet could be distance between you uh definitely wants to move towards you here can we get one more energy for aquarius and love future energy and in, as in future i'm calling like a week or two that there's that king of cups okay Woo! wild okay um bottom of the deck look at this two of cups again two of cups again whose connection is not dying it's not going nowhere okay there's a lot of interest here underneath that two of cups is the king of wands oh my goodness okay let's clarify this energy clarify the devil please in the future position yes this person's obsessed dreaming thinking of all the possible things they could do to you <laughs> Thinking about all the possible things they could do to you. Sexual energy is real here, Aquarius. I wasn't even trying to read it sexually, but it's it's out here. Especially with that seven of... Okay, so clarifying the devil is the seven of cups. I'm not even picking up an options energy. This person's looking at you. We had the page of swords, okay? This person is dreaming about all the possibilities that could come about in a connection with you is what I'm picking up here, okay? Let me just move this over here. This person is thinking about all the things that they can do to you, all right? Um, <laughs> if this is someone from the past and you're in separation with the Six of Swords, they want to come back together. If this person is at a distance, they want to come towards you. Um, if this is someone new, which it very well could be, I did see the Six of Cups twice, mind you. Um, if this is someone new, this person, 
I'm like, look at this girl. She's like looking back. Like it's almost like a spying energy. It's like, when are you going to come get me? I'm just sitting here waiting. You know, this sweet, innocent energy of come get me. <laughs> Clarify the six of swords, please. And the future energy for Aquarius. I love that the King of Cups is here too. Um, Scorpio energy with the Six of Cups. Scorpio energy, Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. Definitely could be dealing with Scorpio. Um, then Capricorn and Cancer again. So, the Moon. Okay, let's clarify the Six of Cups. I'm just going to get all the energy out and then I'll read it. Um, the Death card. Clarifying that Six of Cups. Okay, heavy Scorpio on this table. Could be Pisces. Clarify the King of Cups, please. And then, like I said, I'll read all of the energy here. Um, hold on. Let me just get this card out. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. So, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Aquarius. So clarifying the King of Cups is the Ace of Wands, all right? Clarifying the Six of Cups, we have the Death card, okay? This is Scorpio on Scorpio, okay? We're talking Six of Cups, which is generally a reunion card, um, a memory card, um, you know, sweet energy, nostalgic thoughts, all right? With the Death card. So the Death card here is transformation, straight up, all right? This connection is going to transform into something new here, okay? So if you guys are in separation, you're coming together, a secret, a secret here is going to be exposed. The secret is, is that there's a mutual connection here with this Two of Cups. Somebody wants something very real with you here, okay, Aquarius? Somebody is coming in super hot. We've got the King of Cups with the ace of wands okay so whoever this is that's coming in they're coming in with a, a mature emotional energy here um they're ready for a new passion all right they are hot and ready okay this person cannot get you off of their mind they're definitely obsessed with the possibilities the things that they could do to your body this is a carnal sexual desire here this devil card clarified with the scorpio card which is uh the seven of cups that's the sun in Scorpio, okay? Scorpio is so incredibly sexual. It's one of the most sexual signs in the deck, okay? I, I'm seeing this person wanting to switch positions here, okay? <laughs> let me just let you know. Um, this person can't stop dreaming about you. You are on their mind constantly, okay? Um, there's going to be secrets revealed. Whatever's hidden is coming to light, especially with this... Six of Swords, you're moving toward, you're moving from, uh, well, traditionally it, it, it's moving from chaos into more calmer, um, calmer ground, I guess is what you would say. Um, and then the moon is about illusions, secrets, things in the dark coming to light, being illuminated, that kind of thing. Um, this person's going to come in with an energy. If they're at a distance from you, they're coming towards you and you're not even going to know. I think this person's going to pop up out of nowhere, especially if it's a new person. It's like, they're going to come out of nowhere. You're going to be at the grocery store or you're going to be at the gym or you're going to be at work. And this person is like going to be a new hire or this person is going to be, um, this person, you, you didn't know they had feelings for you. If you already know them, I don't think you do, but you might. Um, you might because we have the six of cups. So it could be somebody returning, could be somebody from your past. Take it how it resonates. Um, it's going to be different for everyone just because I'm talking to a large group. Um, but yeah, this looks great. This looks great. Let me see if there's a piece of advice. If you're looking for more information about this, definitely hit me up for a personal. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. It means everything to me. Um, if you talk to me, I do talk back. So yeah, let me, let me pull, um, let me see if there's any further advice, any further information for Aquarius, please. Any further advice or information? Oh, look at this. Expect powerful change. 
This person's going to come in like a fucking wrecking ball. All right? No Miley Cyrus. But this person's going to come in. This person's going to come in hot. Um, especially if this is reunion. You, you probably thought that... Especially if this is reunion. You probably thought that this person was never going to come back. But here they are. Here they are. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. Sending you love and light. Take care, everyone.